This changes everything. A new weapon is here, and it makes old defenses look slow and blind. Welcome to War Tech Zone. Today we are talking about a real missile that Israel is working on for the future. This is not a movie idea. It is a real project that could shift the balance of power in one of the world's most tense regions. By the end of this video, you will understand why this is not just another missile. This is a signal of where all warfare is going next. Think about a weapon you cannot see coming. Think about a weapon that moves faster than anything trying to stop it. Now think about a weapon that can decide for itself how to hit a target. Israel's next-generation missile is being built to do all three of these things at once. It combines stealth, hypersonic speed, and artificial intelligence into one package. For a small country surrounded by potential threats, this is the ultimate tool for security. It is a shield and a spear in one. But how did they get here, and what does it really mean for the world? First, let's understand the problem Israel's defense planners face. The country is not big. You can drive across it in a few hours. Its major cities are very close to hostile borders. In a conflict, warning time is measured in seconds and minutes, not hours and days. For decades, Israel's answer to this problem has been layers of defense. You have probably heard of the Iron Dome. That system is brilliant at stopping short-range rockets from groups like Hamas. Then there's David's Sling, designed for medium-range threats. And at the top, the Aero system is built to knock out long-range ballistic missiles high in the atmosphere. These systems are good, very good, but the world does not stand still. Israel's rivals are not standing still. Countries like Iran are developing more advanced missiles themselves. They are working on missiles that can fly further, carry bigger warheads, and maybe even try to trick defenses. The old game of building a better shield to stop a better sword gets more expensive and more risky every year. So what is the other option? The best defense, sometimes, is a weapon so powerful and so precise that it stops a war before it even starts. This is called deterrence. You make the cost of attacking you so high that no one wants to try. This new missile is the heart of that new strategy for Israel. Let's break down the three superpowers of this missile. Number one, stealth. You cannot see what you cannot see. Modern radar is amazing. It can track a small drone or a fast jet from hundreds of miles away. But what if the object flying towards you does not show up on radar? This missile is being built to be nearly invisible to sensors. They are not using magic. They are using smart science. The body of the missile is shaped in special angles that scatter radar waves away instead of bouncing them back. It's coated in materials that absorb radar energy, like a sponge soaks up water. Water, leaving almost no signal for the enemy to detect. But stealth is not just about the shape and the paint, it's also about how you fly. This missile will not take a straight, predictable path. That is what old missiles do, and it makes them easy to calculate and intercept. This new system will fly a smart, evasive route. It might dip, curve, and change altitude in ways that make it a blurry, confusing ghost on a radar screen. By the time an enemy defense system even guesses where it is, it's already too late. For nations that have spent billions on radar networks, this is a terrifying thought. Their eyes are being closed at the moment they need them most. Number two, speed. This is where the word hypersonic comes in. Hypersonic simply means faster than five times the speed of sound. That's over 3,800 miles per hour. To put that in perspective, a commercial jet flies at about 550 miles per hour. A bullet from a high-powered rifle travels at about 2,700 miles per hour. This missile aims to be faster than that bullet. At that speed, geography shrinks. A target that is 200 miles away is only about three minutes from being hit. Why does this matter so much? Because defense is a game of time. When a launch is detected, a defense system needs time to confirm the threat, calculate its path, and fire an interceptor to meet it. Hypersonic speed cuts that time down to almost nothing. There is no time for committees to meet. There is barely time for a computer to say, yes, this is real. By the time the alarm sounds, the weapon has already arrived. This speed, combined with its stealth, creates a problem that no current system in the region is fully ready to solve. It's like trying to stop a bullet with another bullet, but the first bullet is invisible and can change direction. Number 3. The Brain This might be the most important part. A fast, stealthy missile is a great tool, but a fast, stealthy, smart missile is a game-changer. This is where artificial intelligence, or AI, comes into play. We are not talking about a robot that thinks for itself like in the movies. We are talking about a very advanced computer program inside the missile that can make simple decisions in a split second. Here's how it works. Let's say the missile's target is a mobile launcher, a truck that can fire rockets and then drive away. An old missile would be programmed with the 
the truck's expected location. If the truck moves, the old missile misses. This new missile is different. It is connected. As it flies, it can receive data from satellites, drones, or radar planes. It can see an updated picture of the battlefield. If it sees that its target is moving, its AI brain can calculate a new path in a millisecond. It can decide to switch to a secondary target if the first one is destroyed. It can even identify the most valuable part of a large target, like the command center on a military base, and aim for that exact spot. This turns the missile from a dumb rock you throw into a thinking, hunting predator. It means that hiding or moving your important assets may no longer keep them safe. The weapon hunting them can adapt on the fly. For Israel, this precision is also a moral choice. They operate in crowded areas. Being able to hit a single room in a building instead of destroying the whole block saves innocent lives. It's a military and an ethical advantage. Now, how do you build such a thing? The project is wrapped in extreme secrecy, as you would expect, but we can look at Israel's history to understand how they might do it. Israel has one of the most innovative tech sectors in the world. Their military units, like Unit 8200 in intelligence, are legendary for producing founders of major tech companies. This missile is not built by weapons makers, it's a team effort. Picture the best minds from military intelligence, cybersecurity, satellite companies, and AI startups all in one secret facility. They are not just building a weapon, they are solving a complex software and physics problem. They will have tested every part thousands of times in simulation. Before a single piece of metal was cut, this missile flew millions of virtual miles in computers, facing every known defense system from Russia, China, and others. They will have modeled radar waves, wind shear, and engine heat. This digital testing is why they can be so confident. They have already seen it work in a thousand different terrible scenarios. So what does this mean for the Middle East? The effect will be huge. For Israel, it's the ultimate insurance policy. It strengthens their Begin doctrine, which is the idea that Israel will act to stop any enemy from getting weapons that could threaten its existence. This missile could, in theory, reach distant targets with such certainty that it neutralizes a threat before it becomes a crisis. It's a clear message to Iran and groups like Hezbollah, your key military sites are not safe, even deep underground or on the move. For Israel's neighbors and rivals, this creates a hard choice. They have two main options. Option one, try to build something just as good. This could start a new arms race in the region, but with much more advanced and dangerous technology. It would cost billions they may not have. Option two, invest in new ways to defend against it. This means building new kinds of sensors that don't rely on traditional radar, maybe using networks of drones or satellites in space to detect the heat signature from a hypersonic missile, or developing laser weapons that can hit something moving at that speed. Both are incredibly difficult and expensive. For the United States and other world powers, Israel's progress here is a valuable testing ground. The technologies in this missile, the stealth materials, the scramjet engines for hypersonic flight, the compact AI processors, are things that major powers are also working on. Seeing how Israel integrates them into a real operational system provides priceless lessons. There will be a quiet sharing of knowledge. What works and what fails in this project will shape the next generation of missiles and defenses in America, Europe, and Asia. Let's compare it to what exists now. Now. The Iron Dome is a defensive system for short-range, low-tech rockets. This new missile is an offensive system for high-value, long-range targets. They are completely different tools for different jobs. A better comparison might be to other countries' hypersonic projects, like Russia's Kinjal or China's DF-17. Those are fearsome weapons designed to break through American carrier group defenses. Israel's missile is different in its mission. It is regional, not global. It is likely smaller and more focused on precision than raw destructive power. Its genius is in the combination of all the technologies in one reliable package for a specific tough neighborhood. What does the future look like with weapons like this? We are entering an age of automated conflict. The decision cycle, the time between seeing a threat and acting on it, is becoming too fast for humans. Soon, the choice to fire a defensive interceptor may be made entirely by a computer. Weapons will talk to each other, a drone will spot a target, a satellite will confirm it, and an AI missile will be sent to destroy it, all in a seamless, silent conversation that takes takes less than a minute. This brings great risks. What if a sensor fails? What if the AI makes a mistake? The danger of a new, unintended conflict starting because of a software error becomes very real. The world will need new rules, new talks between nations to prevent accidents. But it also brings a strange kind of stability, when everyone knows that a first strike would be instantly and decisively punished by an unstoppable weapon, they are less likely to strike first. It's a cold, digital form of peace, but it is peace nonetheless. For Israel, 
Israel, a nation that has lived under the constant threat of attack since its first day, this technology is about survival. It's about using their world-class minds to build a wall of technology so advanced that their enemies simply give up on the idea of destroying them. It's not about conquering territory, it's about securing a future. This missile is more than metal and code. It's a statement, a statement that in the 21st century, the most powerful weapon is not the biggest bomb, but the smartest, quietest, and fastest one. It's a statement that a small, determined nation can stay ahead of much larger rivals through pure innovation. The age of the invisible, thinking, lightning-fast missile is not coming. It is already being built in secret facilities. And when it is revealed, the world of military power will have to look at it, study it, and find a way to live in a world where it exists. If you want to keep understanding how technology is reshaping our world from the battlefield to the boardroom, you are in the right place. This is War Tech Zone. If this deep dive made you think, show us by hitting the like button, it truly helps. Subscribe and tap the bell so you don't miss our next breakdown. We read every comment, so let us know below. Do you think this kind of advanced weapon makes the world safer, or does it just create new and more dangerous problems? Where should the line be drawn? Thank you for watching.